What's up, Jaywalkers? We are going to be watching Scam Front Season 2, Episode 9. Uh, first and foremost, I really do want to apologize for how slow these reactions have been coming out, guys. I uh, promise to do better, and I'm going to try to be doing a bunch here soon because uh, I really want to get further into it, into Season 3, uh, and Season 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 100, uh, because the show <laughs> keeps getting renewed from what I'm hearing. Uh, which is just great for a scam show to do. Yeah, last episode was rough for Menon, of course, with Nicholas telling her all this bull crap about Charles, uh, manipulating her, doing just all this crap, being a terrible person, uh, and her staying there. Nicholas getting what what he wanted. Charles is going to be broken. Uh, but we also had some great scenes with Menon and Iman, and then Menon finally telling Daphne that uh, you know she's in love with. Charles. So yeah, a lot of stuff to enjoy. Uh, we don't have many more episodes left this season. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a rough few with Manon and Charles. It's, it's, it's going to be a little rough, I think. But uh, yeah, guys, the full reaction, as always, is up on my Patreon page. Link to that is in the description box of every YouTube video. Uh, in the description box of every YouTube video. Uh, so if you want to check out the full uncut and edited reactions and get them early, feel free to hit that link and do so. But if we're on YouTube, just please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That being said, let's go. She waking up naked in bed with Nicholas. God, it's gonna show him. Don't want to see it. Ah! I was afraid of. The pain on her face. That right there is what I like to call a tragedy. Can this music be any more depressing? After pill? Like, even with the good possibility of nothing happening, like... Nothing happened, like, this shit hurts. She has to go back and keep writing all this. Like, can't imagine what's going through her head. Charles. No, je... Charles. You need to talk to Charles. in the scene is phenomenal. Her acting. I can go on and on about it. Silence with her crying was that's what assholes do. It's not the way it works with any problems. But Manon is doing what's best for her. Alright, so what? He saw the message and is not responding? Fuck Yo! face. Jeez. Clearly not with the way she's been acting and looking. 
so we're not going down this road. This is the road we can't go down. Road closed. Traffic cones. There's no. Enough. Franchement, si t'avais fait ta pute à la soirée, j'aurais compris, tu vois. Mais là, avec tous les mecs qui voulaient te pécho, t'es resté méga sur ta meuf à des arrêts. Me dis pas que t'as des arrêts à pote de charme. <rire> si, si, c'était un pote de charme, le mec, il est complètement taré dans son cerveau, je l'ai morte. Putain, mais pourquoi j'ai pas capté direct, déjà C'est lui le bouffon qui m'a demandé de s'asseoir sur lui. Ce connard qui se croit tout à l'heure. Eh, c'est toujours moi. Mais c'est qui, vous allez où là Les filles, je viens, je viens avec vous Ah non. Ça va Man is in her own little world. Ouais, ça va. Just saw your message, my ass. Uh, you better wait. Just more important, more important, way more important. Of the instant relief she got after that. Mais maintenant c'est fait, on peut pas revenir en arrière. Il a rêvé déjà de passer à Alex une fois sans raison. Et là je savais que ça allait mal finir. Donc il n'a pas envie d'en faire quelque chose. Alex, il y a ce qui est tout pour mon père. Il passe sa vie au taf. Je m'en pose qu'il est ma mère qui donne des antidépresseurs au petit-déj. Frère. C'est un psychopathe. Big facts. Un psychopathe Big facts. On a rien à foutre des autres. Il fait que ce qui lui plaît. Yep, I see no lies. No lies detected. Il était tellement violent que ma mère l'enfermait le soir dans sa chambre pour éviter qu'il y retourne avec les vaches comme une merde. J'avais peur que Nico comprenne que j'ai des sentiments pour toi et qu'il fout la merde entre nous. Il peut pas s'en empêcher. Tu es right to be fearful. Je pense parce que c'est le seul frère que j'ai. Et s'il avait foutu la merde entre nous, s'il avait essayé de foutre en l'air, la chose qui compte le plus pour moi. More bottles will be involved. Don't look at, don't look at this, don't look at this, we don't need to see. God dang it, you piece of dumpster garbage ass Nicholas, dude. Button, my mind just not there. Uh, that episode messed me up. And uh, first off, just the acting from the girl that plays Manon in this episode, the real raw emotion on her face, the the scene at the beginning, that scene there at the end, the raw emotion and raw acting from her. Um, it got to me. It got to me. It felt real. Uh, it was painful. I felt for her. And I felt for Charles too. But uh, mainly Manon, just having that on your mind this whole time, you know, you don't really know what happened, uh, know what went down. You're Googling uh, if you were raped and just all kinds of terrible things. And for that to be on anyone's mind uh, is just awful. It's just that fact of not knowing what happened. Uh, you woke up naked in a bed with your boyfriend's brother and another girl it's just, yeah it's just it's, that's some scary stuff and then you know she messages Nicholas and then she gets no response although he did see the message uh, finally gets gets a response and she's relieved by it you know she thinks she's in the clear she finally talks to Charles they kiss have a very intimate moment Charles opens up like never before in front of her uh, and she realized like Nicholas is awful, what he said about Charles was awful, not true, yada yada. Um, but uh, yeah, that was awful. She's already crying. Uh, Charles talked about how much it would hurt if Nicholas got in the way of them, broke that up, the thing he cares about the most. And then that's when she gets the other haunting messages from Nicholas. 
of her naked, saying she was horny, uh, saying because of her ass he'll forgive her, uh, just all kinds of trash things from a trash person. And yeah, man, that's, that's awful. Just knowing that, that he's like that, knowing that there's people in the real world like that, there really is. And, um, I thought this, this shined a light on that. And you know, this, this is one of the hardest episodes to watch. But uh, one of the rawest, I would say um, one of the best of the season with just uh, the acting, just, just how real it was. And uh, yeah, that one hurt for sure. That one really hurt. And I just, you know, I feel for Charles, but I, I ultimately feel for men and what she uh, went through and what she now thinks might have happened and just oh man it's it's awful uh but yeah guys really important episode for scam france really good one uh hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode thank you all for watching i'm out